You know where the germs are in your house, right? The bathroom, the kitchen, your garbage can. But would you ever imagine that something you hold near your face every day is loaded with gross, disgusting bacteria? CNN's Gary Tuckman explains. Your voice isn't the only thing being transmitted on your cell phone. Germs are being transmitted, too. Usually, if it's your own germs, you don't have to worry. It's when you share cell phones with somebody else, you can move germs from one person to another, particularly ones that can cause skin infections or the flu virus, cold virus. Professor Charles Gerba is a professor of environmental microbiology at the University of Arizona. The man known as Dr. Germ has found cell phones can be a carrier of infectious diseases. Well, I've had incidents where people share cell phones uh, in my own family where they may have uh, transmitted uh, Staphylococcus skin infections, or MRSA. MRSA, which is short for Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus, is a skin infection that is resistant to penicillin. When Dr. Gerba saw this infection on his niece, he tested her cell phone. It came up positive for MRSA. This cell phone, we are going to check for germs. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> Armed with a special germ meter, Dr. Gerba can determine roughly how much bacteria is on your cell phone. We put the meter to the test. Well, we're going to find out if you ever talk dirty on it. The testing only takes seconds. All phones have bacteria, but the more there is, the better chances of getting someone sick. Ooh. 195, you're really close to the I limit. Beat you. Under 200 means hundreds of bacteria. When you get above 200 on the meter, it means thousands. Above 300 means tens of thousands. And above 500, hundreds of thousands of bacteria. Do you have a cell phone with you? Yes, I do. Melissa ended up with the highest number of all the cell phones we sampled, 336, which means the high tens of thousands of bacteria. The professor's words were unsettlingly clinical. Here, you give you a relative idea. You got about hundreds of times more bacteria than at an average toilet seat, if you want a comparison. Mm, I kind of assume my cell phone might be a little bit cleaner than that. None of the people we stopped on the street regularly clean their cell phones. Oh, you're, you're in the, well, we, above 200 ain't good. That means we're in the thousand range. You got a couple of thousand, not as bad as we do. Do I ever want to use my cell phone again? Yeah, well, maybe not. Maybe cut your husband off. He might be in a source. You never know. Blame the husband. Always blame the husband. That's a good, good idea. Of the 11 phones we tested, five failed the germ meter test. Dr. Germ has some words for the wise. I think a good advisable with any type of electronic equipment that you might end up sharing is you, you wipe it down with a disinfectant, you know, a disinfectant cloth or wipe. Um, but don't spray disinfectants directly onto it. You could ruin your equipment. So keep your phone clean, even if your conversations sometimes aren't. Gary Tuckman, CNN, New York. Wow, who knew? Time now for the list. Keep in mind, germs can be transferred when you share cell phones, so be sure to wipe your phone with a disinfectant cloth. That'll help kill those germs. But don't spray your phone with disinfectant, well, unless you want to buy a new one. Thank you for spending part of your weekend with us. You can catch Open House every Saturday and Sunday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern.